Meghan Markle was still living with her chef and boyfriend Corey Vitiello when she went on her first date with Prince Harry, a new book claims. According to Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, out now in the UK, Meghan, then an actress on the USA Network drama Suits, in 2016 put into action a plan to befriend a group of well-connected Brits. Among them were Harry's childhood friend Violet von Westenholtz, who was working as a publicist for Ralph Lauren. Meghan had been hired to wear the designer's clothing during the Wimbledon tennis tournament in the summer of 2016. In a conversation with Weston Holtz at Wimbledon, author Tom Bauer writes, Meghan persuaded sensitive soul Vine Weston Holtz to set her up on a blind date with the prince. Her problems were familiar to all unknown, unmarried actors in their mid-thirties, fear of loneliness and personal and financial insecurity, Bauer writes. Unsurprisingly, Meghan was preoccupied by her own financial security, and finding a husband. Before agreeing to the setup, the book claims, Weston Holtz sent Harry photos of the dark-haired actress. Von Weston Holtz's father, Piers, is an interior decorator and antique dealer and an old chum of Prince Charles' wife Camilla. During weekend visits to the Weston Holtz Hertfordshire country estate and during joint family holidays, Princess Harry and William played with Violet as children. Although Bauer writes that Meghan's two-year romance with Vitiello, a Toronto-based chef, was in its last throes when she met Harry, they still shared a home together. The book also claims that, two weeks after their first date on July 1, 2016, Harry secretly flew to Toronto. He stayed for about one week in the house of a friend of Meghan's, probably Jessica Mulroney. With Corey still sharing, Meghan's, home, the situation for Meghan was tricky but manageable. At the end of the week, after he returned to London, Meghan was convinced that her spell was cast and the relationship with Harry would be sealed. She told Corey that their affair was over, Bauer writes. According to the book, Vitiello was relieved. The final months had been unpleasant, 